This video will demonstrate the nose strut servicing procedures for the Model 560 aircraft. Similar techniques are used on other citations. Consult Chapter 12 of the appropriate Citation Maintenance Manual for specific servicing procedures. Begin by jacking the airplane. The plane must be raised high enough to allow the floor jack to be inserted next to the fork of the nose gear. Cut the safety wire from the high pressure fitting. Backing off the forward nut approximately three turns on the high pressure fitting releases the nitrogen pressure in the lower portion of the strut. Using a suitable container, catch any hydraulic fluid that may be present in the air chamber. If more than two tablespoons of fluid is present in the air chamber, it is recommended that the strut be overhauled at this time. Remove the high pressure fitting from the strut. After releasing the nitrogen, gain access to the top of the strut. This can be accomplished by opening the nose baggage doors and removing the screws from the hinged access panel located on top of the wheel well structure. Cut the safety wire securing the metering pin and remove the metering pin from the top of the strut. Unscrew the metering pin slowly as there may be nitrogen trapped within the upper fluid chamber. Install an AN919-3D reducer or equivalent fitting with the appropriate O-ring in the top of the strut where the metering pin was just removed. Secure a floor jack to the nose fork. Slowly compress the piston. When it's bottomed out, the piston will stop moving. Be careful not to apply more force than necessary as it is possible to raise the airplane off the nose jack. Install the hose connected to a hand pump to the reducer on top of the strut. Release the pressure from the floor jack. Using a hand pump serviced with clean Skydrol, extend the piston completely. 10 to 30 PSI should be adequate to move the piston down. Once bottomed out, apply approximately 200 PSI hydraulic pressure to drive the isolation piston down to the bottom of the piston. Release the pressure from the hand pump. Repeat this process of compression and extension three times to purge any air from the upper fluid chamber. On the final compression cycle, keep the piston fully compressed. Remove the hand pump hydraulic hose and reducer. Replace the metering pin O-ring with a new one. Reinstall the metering pin into the top of the strut. As the pin is inserted, hydraulic fluid will be expelled. Clean and dry the nose gear of hydraulic fluid that was expelled during the metering pin installation process. Compressed air and alcohol is suitable for this. Finish cleaning with a dry rag. Safety wire the head of the metering pin. Remove the floor jack from the fork and fully extend the piston by hand. Reinstall the high pressure nitrogen fitting with new o-ring into the strut. Service the lower chamber with nitrogen. An extension, such as one pictured, may be used to help facilitate access. Bleed off the nitrogen to the correct pressure as seen in Chapter 12 of the Maintenance Manual. Once filled to the correct nitrogen pressure, close the high pressure fitting and remove the nitrogen source. Safety wire the high pressure fitting. Close the access panel in the nose baggage and install the hardware. The airplane can now be lowered off jacks. The task is now complete. For further information, please contact Team Legacy at area code 316-517-7786. You can also reach us by email, teamlegacy at txtav.com.